Hey guys, Lizzie here from Body Tech Osteo and Health. By the end of today's video, you are going to learn how to manage swimmer's shoulder. Swimmer's shoulder is commonly characterized by pain reported through the outside and or back of the shoulder during the overhead phase of freestyle and or butterfly, in addition to, in some cases, the underwater phase of backstroke. Today, we are going to go through some simple techniques that you can do outside of the pool to help alleviate the symptoms of swimmer's shoulder and have you chase that black line faster than ever. Start by mobilizing the shoulder blade, avoiding irritating the ball and socket joint of the shoulder. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, forward and back. Make sure to move through the full range, all the way up and down, all the way forward and all the way back. Repeat 20 to 30 times. Start this movement on all fours with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Ensure the elbow joints are not locked out so that means we are going to be relying on muscle activation to perform this movement. Think of pressing the floor away from your chest so you're going to round your upper back as much as possible. Think of the bottom tip of the shoulder blades moving into the space of the armpits. This will help to activate both the lats and the serratus anterior. Very important for swimmers. Using a firm ball such as a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball, locate the rotator cuff by placing it just above the fold of the armpit at the back of the shoulder. Roll around up against the wall and find a tender spot. Once you've found it, stick to it. It should be pretty tender. Then roll around and find another one. Do it for a couple of minutes. Isometric muscle activations refer to activating the muscle without changing the length of the muscle while it contracts. To start with, External rotation refers to turning the arm in an outward direction. Have a towel underneath the armpit and press the wrist into the wall. Here, we're doing internal rotation. Keeping the elbow steady, bring the forearm across the body. Come up against the wall and internally rotate the arm against the wall, holding each rep. To finish with, abduction, where we're taking the arm away from the body. Take a towel underneath the armpit and again, press the elbow into the wall. Perform each of these movements, maybe eight to 10 reps. Hold each rep for two to three seconds.